All right, guys. I think the CG is good. The way it's flexing, how we're looking real quick. Add some trim to it. Better see if we can trim that. All right, guys. Hopefully this thing flies. I think the CG is good. We've been having CG issues. Yeah, so we moved the CG further back. And hopefully this works. We got our new motor mount on our PVC motor mount base and we just screwed right into it. So without further ado, we're gonna try to get this thing up. Okay. We're in the air, but, huh. I don't know if we're tail heavy the way it's flexing it is flying but it was a little iffy I think we may be tail heavy it's not flying smooth let's take See how we're looking real quick. Yeah. It's porpoising really bad. Let's. Add some trim to it. Use our rudder. It's fast with a 9x6 on the nose. Running 4S with a 2216 uh, 1400 kV. Now we're cruising it half throttle. Rudder seems to be a little off, but we can trim that. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we had too much up on the uh, elevator surface, but it's doing well now, so it looks definitely looks like a spy plane. Test it. Yeah, definitely has vertical now. Zero throttle. See if it has any adverse action. No adverse action at zero throttle. It's at a slow glide. And we are purposely tail heavy. Get back on the throttle. Seems to be doing pretty well, guys. Okay, yeah. Let's try to move that battery a little forward. See how we're gonna land this. Let's come back around and land normal. It's definitely tail heavy. But it's able to fly tail heavy. So we're gonna bring it in. And here we are.
coming in hot slow down baby all right it's slowing down now there we are <laughs> all right so we definitely found the cg we had the cg before we just kind of lost it so We'll scoot that battery up a little bit forward. Let's hit, fill the motor. Ooh, the motor is a little warm. <clears throat> but it did handle the flight with ease. So, a nine by six.